Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll present to you create and manage IK objects. This is a multi-function command, part of the Smart Magnet rig workflow. It plays a very important role in Smart Magnet rig inverse kinematics. All functions are available as shortcuts and also for convenience can be accessed via buttons in Smart Magnet Rig Helpers panel. The command can create three types of EDAPT objects, two of which control IK chains, and it also allows you to control the visibility and opacity of the IK controllers. I'll start this demonstration with the simplest of the objects, the FK extender. Its shortcut key is Control plus Shift plus F1 and its function is to provide just a simple extension handle. For example, if we look at this neck here, it is just very short. It is quite difficult to know where the neck ends and where the head starts. So it is quite prone to making mistakes where to click and even if we click uh, correctly on the neck it's still a bit uncomfortable to move it and pose it because it's just so short and the distance between the end of the neck and the registration point is just not enough to feel that you're well in control of the posing and this is where the FK extender comes in so handy so I'll enter the next symbol and press the shortcut key control plus shift plus F1 to create an FK extender. You can see this little light blue circle. A layer called FK extender appeared here. I'll unlock the object and move it with the selection tool just so that it's uh, somewhere above the head and I will lock the layer again. This is a special object which will not show up when you preview your animation as Swift, but if you export to video or a PNG sequence, you will have to either guide this layer or even uh, better go inside and guide the object itself, because in this way it will disappear from everywhere because it will be just the same instance that you guided and you can always uh, unguide it later after you finish exporting so if i grab kineflex now and pose you can see this is this is still the next symbol because this is just an extension but it's much more easier and much more precise to control so this is really all about the FK extender. It is just this extra convenient handle for elements that you might feel need this extra length. Now, the next element, the most important object in this series would be the Smart Magnet Rig IK Effector. Let's uh, select nothing on the stage and press the button to create a new effector. This little grayish circle appeared and we can see that a layer smart magnet rig controllers was created above everything else. And then here is the IK effector in the library. Now just a note it's very important to understand that the edapt objects folder is a service folder that is crucial for the functioning of smart magnet rigs so just bear in mind you should not rename the folder or any of the objects that are automatically placed in there you shouldn't move it you shouldn't put it inside other folders and obviously you should not delete it just leave edapt objects as they are without touching them okay so what can we do with this uh, effector we can grab kineflex 
and with Kineflex we can drag it around we can drag it over a suitable element and if we hold down the shift key you will see that suitable elements get highlighted so if I drop over a suitable element it becomes an attached effector if I drag it it will control the IK chain of this arm now you can see that the moment I dropped it it uh, shows an arrow so we can see the direction of this effector and the way it is at the moment will bend the arm in the wrong direction so I'll have to horizontally flip it I'll just use a shortcut to horizontally flip it and now I can control the arm if I hold down shift and drag it away with Kineflex this will detach it and now I can attach it to this other arm and control this other arm now let's look at the settings in EDAPT control panel for this effector I'll call the control panel pressing its shortcut key here we can set uh, the size at which the objects are created uh, the default opacity by default the colorization is set to invert but we can give it a color and this is what I'll do now just for the sake of this test I'll just give it some dark blue color go OK and you can see the effector is now dark blue I'm not sure if we see it better or not maybe I'll just uh, go back and make it white so let's go back here choose the white color and I'll choose some uh, slightly larger size and I will now detach this effector and delete it to show you something else now when I created it the first time there was nothing selected on stage but if there are suitable elements on stage selected you will see that upon execution of the command multiple IK effectors will be created and they will be snapped to the selected elements so let's just press the shortcut key shift plus F1 and now you can see three effectors were created and snapped to their respectively controlled elements also the size is now larger because this is the size that we chose we'll have to flip these horizontally and this one is okay if I grab it there you go it controls it controls the leg properly now these ones are also correctly orientated selecting this one and pressing the button will add an effector to it as well now F1 will show and hide the effectors so if I press F1 it just turns the visibility of this um, controller's layer off if I press F1 again the effectors are shown also if I move these effectors away from their controlled elements and hide them upon showing them again they will snap back into position so if we go here where we have other different poses the same character and we want to snap the effectors to their controlled elements one way of doing so would be to just hide them by pressing F1 and show them again by pressing F1 again you can see they snapped to their locations I'll do it again hide them and show them this is a very quick and easy way to do so 
Of course, we can use Smart Magnet Joint as well when there's nothing selected and we press the tilde key, the effectors will snap into position. If we have an effector or multiple effectors selected, it will do just the same. The other setting is controlling the controller's opacity. And this is done by incrementally decreasing the opacity with a step of 20%. So if I go control plus F1 several times, you can see that they gradually get more and more transparent until we go back to 100% opacity. So just in steps of 20%, we can just uh, incrementally change the opacity of these effectors. These buttons here will do the same. This button will hide the controllers and this button will allow you at multiple presses to adjust the opacity. What else? If we press F12, we'll get um, access to the quick settings dialog, which is exactly the same as the one in the EDAPT control panel. We can go back to invert, for example. There you go. And now we can give them 100% opacity. And finally, I'll show you the Smart Magnet Rig IK brace. This is how a brace looks like. It is an object reserved for future functionality. So you can't really do anything with the braces at the moment, apart from, of course, dragging them with the Kineflex tool and attaching them to objects. So I'll detach this brace and delete it. With this, I think that I've covered all the functionality of create or manage IK objects. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.